And take a look at these images. They're known as border rescue beacons. They're part of a border patrol program designed to save the lives of migrants who may be in distress while attempting to enter the U.S. ABC 10 News reporter Madison Weil shows the community-led effort to expand the program to offer even more aid. For migrants, the journey to cross the U.S.-Mexico border is mountainous and often perilous. Every year in the remote areas of the border region in the desert that surrounds San Diego, hundreds of people uh, cross through that desert. Some abandoned by coyotes and left to wander for miles at risk of dehydration, starvation, and injury. It's why CBP started its missing migrant program back in 2017 to prevent the loss of life among migrants attempting to enter the U.S. Border Patrol tells us they currently have nine of these rescue beacons throughout the San Diego sector, and there were five rescues because of these beacons in fiscal year 2023. But now these designers are working to improve the current design to save even more lives. If there's a way to improve the design to make it universally uh, identifiable as humanitarian aid, that's something that we would want to see. Thomas Perez, a student at the New School of Architecture and Design in downtown San Diego, hosting a workshop to brainstorm with other community members. We've invited human rights organizations, design professionals, students, uh, and any interested government officials. Perez says with the current design, they're concerned migrants may mistake a rescue beacon for a piece of surveillance technology rather than an emergency lifeline, showing us some designs in the works to address just that. As designers, we see this opportunity to provide our input and alleviate the burden of design, uh, which the Border Patrol has, and allow us to help them in uh, designing these rescue beacons so that they're more effective in saving lives. Madison Weil, ABC 10 News. Perez tells us once they finish workshopping their designs, they hope to work with CBP to implement them.